Good morning, everyone. Today I am going to be welcoming you all in uh, language and its communicative value. I'll be talking about communicative competence and other elements that are connected to it. So let's start. What is language? Language is a medium of communication which has an individual role in the society. So language is a, actually something that we share in the society. We express our views, thoughts and opinions with this. And language is the grace of thought and communication is the expression of thought. So there is a relationship between language and communication. So there are two types of communication, person to person communication and group communication. So when you talk about person to person communication, there are uh, a few persons involved in communication. It could be a video calling, it could be direct conference, it could be meeting person to person. There, there are different types. And if you talk about group communication, suppose you are working in a multinational company, at that time what happens, uh, you need to discuss about a lot of issues that are connected to many, many people when you are working together. Now coming to body language and subject voice. When you talk about anything in English, body language plays 57% role of communication and subject voice plays 43% role of communication. So what do you mean by body language? There is posture, gesture, eye contact, hand movements, a lot of other things that, that when we talk. There are eye expressions, uh, facial expressions. With these, we try to convey some sort of message. Suppose my communicative uh, competence is very poor. At that time, we will try to use our body to express something. Suppose, uh, I cannot speak English clearly, so I, I, I don't want to mean anything. Like this. It means that I want to eat something. So this is a kind of body language. Which plays 57 percent role of communication. Subject voice plays 43 percent role of communication. When you are talking to somebody at that time, information takes 43 percent role. Because the more information you know, it will be very much effective as well. So it is about subject information. Now, what is very important, what, how to throw message, how to take question, how to answer. So take any question with seriousness, seriousness smile and no anger. Throw questions answer with seriousness, smile, no anger, confidence, positive attitude and high motivation. So I'm talking about positive attitude and high motivation. You should be lively, you should not be depressed. Your body language should suggest something which is very much uh, helpful to understand. And you should not have the negative attitude when you are talking to somebody. Always try to be positive. That will help you a lot to get the communicative success uh, to you most level. So that could be very interesting. Now coming to communicative competence. Hale Himes is the one who has used this communicative competence for the first time in 1972. And there is a communicative language teaching method as well uh, at that time. So Dale Himes said that communicative competence is a term in linguistics it is not only the accurate ability to apply users' grammatical knowledge of syntax, that is sentence, morphology, this word construction, phonology, sound system, and the like, but also socio-situational knowledge about how and when to use utterances appropriately. So this definition is extremely important. So Dale Hines says that community competence is not only about grammar, <coughs> sentence, words, and sound. It is also about situation, socio-situational circumstances. It goes with psycholinguistics and sociolinguistics. Which situation and where, when to apply the right message. Suppose when you are in uh, airport, you should use one type of message, conversation. When you are in interview board, another type of conversation. When you are with uh, the academic situation in the college or university, at that time you will have to use another sort of situation or even in the family, then you will use another type of language. So when to use what? You need to know it very carefully. Because when we use Bangla at that time, we are very different in every situation. Now, let me talk about Canel and Swen. In 1980, in their article, they talked about four types of competence. Number one is linguistic competence. As I told you, linguistic competence talks about word formation, sentence construction, and sound system. So this is very important, if your linguistic competence is accurate, appropriate and fluent, at that time the message goes fast, it becomes very successful. 
Then comes to social linguistic competence. How differently speakers use the language. So when you are talking to somebody like senior to you, you are conveying one type of message. When somebody is junior, you are conveying another type of message for the same situation. Now you need to know very carefully about the social linguistic competence. If it is developed, remember linguistic competence and social linguistic competence together will make you very successful. There is another type of uh, competence that is discourse knowledge or dis discourse competence. How messages put together to make text, how text are co-produced co by partners. So discourse means a conversation with a lot of people together. In order to be a very good speaker, you need to develop your discourse, that is speaking ability. It requires practice situation. Suppose I'm working in a uh, foreign organization, my linguistic competence would be very good. Others who have done, who, who has got better quality, but he's working in a very common normal company where there are no foreigners. At that time, his linguistic competence may not develop the way I have developed. Now coming to the last one, strategic competence. Strategic competence, it, it, it talks about the techniques to use conversation, comprehension and production. That is, there should be a speaker and there should be a listener. They should talk to each other in a way so that it becomes very much comprehensible, understandable, uh, something that is that is possible to share and something which is very much successful in, in, in case of communication. Let me give one example. Suppose you have lost a luggage in the airport. So how are you going, going to talk? You have to go to the desk and say that, excuse me, uh, I, can, I, can you help me please? Then they will ask you, how can I help you? And you will say that I have lost my luggage uh, in the last flight and this is my ticket and uh, will you please help me uh, to find out the luggage that I have lost? In this way, there is, uh, if you notice, there is comprehension, production and total conversation. This total technique will help you to become very much successful. So these four types of linguistic competence will be very much effective if it is developed within the speaker. So hopefully you have understood the idea of language, its communicative value and communicative competence. I hope this uh, lesson will be very much helpful. I request you to subscribe my channel and at the same time share as much as you can. And if you watch the videos, I believe it will help you to get to know better about language, linguistics and English language. That's it from here. Thank you very much.